Hello and welcome back to our 10 minute technicals. So we're still following our theme of toys and what we're going to do today is we're going to use something called a viewfinder to do very detailed observational drawings. So a viewfinder is just a piece of card or paper with a square cut out of it that you can then place over an object and you then draw whatever is in that square. So let me show you. So I've got a piece of cardboard, fold it in half. If you haven't got card, paper will do fine. And I'm gonna cut a little rectangle out of that, which then is a square. So I don't need that middle bit. I can put that to one side. And this is now my viewfinder, okay? So, if I took my robot here, and what I can do is I can place it over the robot and see different parts of him, and then I would draw what I can see in that viewfinder. Okay. Now, for slightly bigger toys, you just cut yourself out a bigger square. Okay. Right, now on your piece of paper, what you'll want to do is draw at least three squares. I'm going to do three, but you can do more if you want. I'm going to use a box to draw around so that my each square is the same size, but I don't have to worry about using a ruler. Any box will do. This is a light bulb box, this is a good size. I'm going to draw around that box. So that's my first square. I'm then going to place the box on the here. I want to leave a bit of a gap between each square. That's my second square. And then that's my third square, okay, lovely. Then you can just, if you, the edges don't quite meet up, you can just pencil those in. Like that, excellent. Now these squares are gonna be what I draw in, and what I'm gonna draw in those are the things that I place in the viewfinder. So let's start with the robot. So I'm gonna lie them down there, and I'm gonna place my viewfinder there. And I quite like this view. I can see a little bit of his face and the top of his body and the side there. So in my top box, I'm gonna draw what I can see. So it's called an observational drawing. So we're looking, okay, observing. So we're really looking at what we're drawing and getting that detail. So on this side, I can only see two of those and there's a line down there, okay? Got that bit on the side of his head. Can't quite see the full round of that eye, so I'll put that eye just there. And that eye just there. And I can see the top of his head. Also got his mouth in there. Lovely. And then I'm going to turn my robot over and I'm going to place, ah, that's quite an interesting view. I'm going to place my robot, my viewfinder over my robot there. So I can see a little bit of his head there, the side of his head. And then it's this part of his arm. And the idea is to keep looking at the object that you're drawing, okay? 
observe it because what you don't want to do is draw what you think is there which is sometimes what we do if we don't look hard enough at what we're drawing okay so that's the side of my robot and then let's have a look what can we do oh. I quite like these control panels at the front so I'm going to put the find over that oh and look that fits perfectly so that's what I'm going to draw so I've got a line across there now because this is what we call symmetrical it's the same on both sides I'm going to draw each bit one piece at a time but I'm going to do it on both sides at once, okay? So I'm going to draw it there and then I'm going to repeat it there. That's going to help me make that look symmetrical, okay? So if I draw the triangle here, I want to check with just a very faint line that I get it level on that side. So can you see those two line up? And I can draw my triangle in on that side. Little dot. Okay, and then I've got these three yellow bars along here. So again, I'm going to draw a line across there and a line across there, so they're level. And a line across here, and a line across there, they're level. And then I can just get one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I can rub out the lines I don't need. So that's helped me to get that as symmetrical as I can in my drawing. So here there's a little bit there. And I've got those there. Okay, so that's just three parts of my robot that I've chosen. Okay. So now we want to add some colour and we're actually going to use some paints, some pencils, and even then, a bit of black biro. If you haven't got a black biro, don't worry, you can just use your drawing pencil, okay? And we're going to layer our colour. So I'm gonna have my robot there. I'm gonna have, I've got my paint palette here. I'm gonna go for my red. I'm just going to paint a very light layer of red paint to begin with first, okay? Just a very, very light layer. I'm going to do the same on this square here. So remember, this was the side of the robot. So it looks almost pink, which is fine. Okay. I'm gonna use a slightly different red for that arm, because can you see this is a dark red and this is a lighter red. So I'm gonna use the other red on my palette. If you haven't got two different reds, Try adding some yellow to your red to make an orange colour. Okay, that's his arm. And then I'm going to turn my robot over so I can see. This is going to be a little bit more fiddly, this one, because I'm going to try and work around my pencil lines. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, more water on my brush. Now remember, once you feel you've got this technique, you can stop the video, you can pause it and then 
press play again once you have caught up. You won't have to paint as quickly as me. You can take your time. Okay, lovely. So that's my background layer. And then I want to put these colors in. So I've got the orange arrows. blue rectangles and those yellow rectangles there okay also got a bit of yellow up here that I'm going to now add on lovely okay so that it's just our what we call a base layer of paint. Okay, brilliant. Now, if at any point you feel your colour is a little bit too wet, you can do what we call blotting. So I'm using a napkin that I bought especially for painting. You can use a bit of tissue or a bit of kitchen roll. Okay, so I've just blotted that just to take off the water, but I haven't lost any of the colour. So now I can start to use my pencil crayons and I'm going to pop the grey on around his eyes. You want to, you want to make sure that your paint is completely dry. So do you remember that technique I taught you about making something look as if it's made from metal by leaving a lighter area in the middle? I've done that on the side of my robot there. That's a very light grey that part, so I'm just going to pencil that. Again, if you haven't got a grey pencil, use your drawing pencil, that's absolutely fine. arm here. So I'm not going to colour the whole thing in, I'm just going to outline that in red a little bit. I'm just going to colour a little bit, maybe half of it in. And then I'm going to get my darker red for this side and can you see how I'm using the side of my pencil just to add a little bit of pencil crayon detail in. So just look how I'm using my pencil, I'm using the side of the pencil lead, not the tip, the side. And that gives you a softer now this bit I want to do I do want to use the tip because I want that to be a little bit heavier and look a little bit darker so I'm going to color that whole bit in there okay. okay let's do these bits down here so we want the dark red lines here and here. This is very dark red. I'm just going to very lightly put some red pencil crayon over the top. And 
and then those are silver. So I'm going to use my grey pencil, so I'll do a dark outline and a lighter grey in the middle. Dark outline, lighter grey in the middle. We've also got some silver around those blue boxes and they were silver too. So you can keep going and really build up this colour, so here, I'm going to put some darker red in maybe just down one side and around these button bits to help them look a little bit more 3D. As I said, you can take lots of time over this. You can do your colouring really, really neatly. I'm going to circle around those eyes a little bit. So your red doesn't have to go all over. It just helps to make this look a little darker and lighter in places, okay? Right, and then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use my biro, but if you haven't got your biro, you use a pencil. And I'm going to go over some of the outlines, like this. And did you know that you could shade with a biro like you can a pencil? Look, I'll show you here. So you might want to practice afterwards on a separate piece of paper. So if I press really heavy on my biro, can you see that it's really dark? And then if I start to press lighter, so I use a light, less pressure, the biro becomes lighter and lighter lighter and really light. It's the same with a pencil. If you press heavy on a, with the pencil you create a much darker mark and then you press lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and it becomes a lighter grey colour. So you're going to use your biro or your pencil just to add a little bit of shadow and shading onto this. So there would actually be a little bit of shadow where this arm is resting on the body. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in this corner here. So you can just start to keep adding the detail and you can go on and on and on and you can add lots and lots of detail and here we go, I'll show you, this is one I did earlier and this is the robot so I was trying to, I had a little play around with the shading of my biro and there's one of his eyes, this was a green robot and then this, this one here was a teddy bear so I've got the eye and the nose, the ear and trying to create the different textures of the fur. So give it a go. And remember, it's you're using lots of different layers of materials. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.